Hey guys, Shasha Bantech, and I want to go over a ROM review, and it's Bliss Pop. And you can find this over in XDA Forms. I'll leave a link down below of where you can download this. I just want to give a quick overview about this ROM. It's actually the first ROM that I've installed on the LG G3. This is the Verizon variant. This is a CM12 based ROM and Bliss has added their own style into it as well. You got some more features that you can choose from. We'll go through all that in just a minute. But basically this is how I have my phone set up. I have Nova Launcher installed. Just mind you that, that I always install that no matter what I'm using. That's just what I like. So. So let's go ahead and get to the about phone part, get that out of the way so you can see what it looks like and what version of Android we are on. We are on Android 5.0.2. You can see the baseband, the kernels, and the build type. One of the fun things that these developers put in these ROMs is of course the boot animation. So let's see what that looks like. Go ahead and reboot and let you see what the boot animation is like. And that's the animation. It's got a Android lollipop kind of theme to it, which is pretty cool. I do have the C clock for my widget here. I like it. It's a pretty cool widget to install. It has your time. You can add your date, weather. You can also put in some calendar options as well. The first thing I just want to cover and just go ahead and get out of the way, some of the bugs or some of the kinks that I've kind of discovered while using this. I've actually discovered that the Google apps don't really work that well, uh, especially the calendar. I try to go to the calendar. And I, you know, I could probably just try to install some other Google apps, but when I go to the calendar, it doesn't actually pick up stuff. So it's kind of interesting to me that that happens. It wants you to add an account. And if you add your account, it just says that it's already added. So I think there's just some kind of bug with that, but you can back out of it and still view the calendar calendar. If you don't want any stuff added, you can at least see the date and stuff like that. I have noticed that the phone does get a little hot if you're using some, I guess, strenuous apps. The other day I was using navigation. It seemed like that kind of made it overheat just a little bit. And that might be because it was connected to a charger at the same time. But in any regard, actually, you know, just the LG G3 in a general sense, I've noticed that this area, the power button actually gets kind of warm. Now I'm not sure if that's just the LG G3 thing or if it's a, you know, ROM kind of associated problem. I noticed that it does get a little warm, but I noticed with this ROM, it seems to get a little bit warmer than what I've experienced in the past. The other thing I've had to get used to is actually the camera. It doesn't come with obviously the LG G3 camera that you're used to just from stock. It comes with open camera and it's taken a little bit of getting used to, but it's not too bad. Once you get used to it, there's just, you know, it's just a different style, but it's actually pretty cool. It's got some nice features to it, a lot of different options. Uh, that you can kind of scroll through here and select you know the different preferences that you like out of a camera function and one of the cool things i discovered is that even while you're shooting a video you could turn on the led light if you need light hitting you in that direction you can always you know slap that on there now i did notice that there was a little bit of a lag when i did that when i turned this light on when i was taking a, some you know footage it seemed like between the time, the real time, there's just the hint of a lag when I had that activated. Other than that, you know, it's a pretty cool camera app. It takes pretty good pictures. You can tap the focus. It's relatively quick. I mean, it could be quicker, but it's also trying to use that light. So I'm going to turn that light off. And you can just turn that off. Let's see if that helps out. Yeah, so, so it's a little slower than I like, but it's not that bad of a camera. The images and video files actually still turn out pretty good. And what I do like about this is that your home button and also recent and back button is still accessible. And one of the things I couldn't really stand about the LG G3 camera is like, let's say you're just wanting to go back and you, you know, you're hitting back, back. Oh, but it, the whole area kind of switches. So 
that was one of the things I didn't really enjoy about the stock camera. Anyways, those are pretty much the only things that I've had any kind of grievance with with this ROM. Other than that, it's actually been a really cool experience. It's awesome to have CM12, so I really like that kind of stuff. Let's just go ahead and get into the settings. Let's go through the menu, and that's going to show you all the different options that you have. A lot of this might seem familiar, but there's going to be some differences that you're going to notice. So you definitely have the lollipop theming going, CM12 lollipop. You got your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage. You can click on more. That's where you're going to get to some of your other defaults that you want to look at. If you come here, this is where you can change your launcher. They use Launcher 3 as their stock, but again, I like to use Nova. This is where a lot of the differences will be. You have Bliss Interface. If you like Exposed Framework, this is where a lot of those different features come into play. It's where you can tweak around what you want it to look like. So you get the status bar. You can change a lot of different stuff here. Again, this is just going to be an overview. I'm not going to go through every little detail. I'll scroll through the options so you can kind of read and see what is included. And it's, you know, definitely going to be a ROM that you're going to want to try out. You got navigation bar options, Pi controls. I know a lot of people like Pi control. I've never really been a big user of Pi controls, but I know, like I said, a lot of people like it. You got tons and tons and tons of options. And that's just one of the beautiful things about CyanogenMod. CyanogenMod just has so many features. Honestly, in my opinion, I think CyanogenMod should be what the stock Android experience should be like. No offense to just the lovers of stock Android. I'm actually a fan of stock Android, but it can be rather boring. For instance, the Nexus 6, just stock, is kind of boring compared to the different options that you have with other uh, OS's uh, like TouchWiz or even the LG kind of options. But anyways, off of that tangent, back to the options here. You got some different options you can get with the heads up. You got lock screen options. You got a bunch of different shortcuts that you can add. You can customize your weather, the colors, the clock widget settings. This is one of the features I would always install on a stock ROM because whenever I did use Exposed Framework, this was actually one of the mods that I like to add to it. Especially like with, you know, some devices that don't give you all these options, but you got power off, reboot menu, screenshot. I really like having screenshot on there because there's times where I need to use it just one handed. So I'll show you how that works. I got that activated already. So I'll hold down the power button and you can just take a screenshot with that right there. So that's really cool. You can use it one handed and it's just nice. It's very cool to not have to worry about pressing two buttons at one time. You also have screen record option, profile switcher, airplane mode, setting shortcut, device lockdown, and sound panel. So you can really customize how you want your functions to work. It's just a lot of cool stuff. You got gestures anywhere. You can add all kinds of stuff. You can just, mm, it's just amazing. Animations. These are your different animations that you can customize. All your different options there. You got app circle bar. And this is where you can activate it here. You can switch it on. You got different trigger positions. Pretty cool stuff. This is where you can help support the team. You got official builds, nightly builds. This is where you can get your G apps from. I use the bank G apps and I probably should try the PA G apps just because of that calendar issue to see if there was any differences or not. You got some different kernels you can add. You also have some miscellaneous additions and that's gonna take it to your web browser to go through those options and this is what you can download. So you get different boot animations that you can add and so forth. So this is the basic overview of all the settings for Bliss Pop. Let's take a tour around the device just to kind of show you what it looks like if you're interested in getting this. Again, this has Lollipop features. So you got this pull down here to where you can see your notification and then if you wanna see your shortcuts and also your different toggles, we can do that. So I'm going to tone down the brightness a bit so that way we can see some more stuff. And like I have a Google Plus notification here for a comment on one of my posts. You, know, you can just swipe that away if you want to. You also have user profiles. You can have your own, add a guest, or you can add a user. So I like that. That's a pretty cool option to have. Then you also have your shortcut to your settings. You know, personally, I like to put a settings icon down here so that way it's just quicker for me to get to. That's just quicker for me. I know some people, well, you can just have it up here, but I like it down there. So anyways, um, you could definitely uh, do a lot of different stuff with this. So that's what the notification panel looks like. Let's take a look at the lock screen. 
The lock screen is like that CM clock kind of style. You got your time, weather, whatever information that you want. You can have your, you got your phone shortcut here that takes you right to your app. It takes you to all your speed dial options. You got your recents and also your contacts. As far as messaging goes, it actually uses the Google Messenger. So if you're used to that, you can do that, or you can always just use Hangouts for that. So again, this is just a basic overview of Bliss Pop, a pretty cool ROM that you can try out. Again, I'll leave a link down below for where you can download this at. Thanks to their developers for working hard on this kind of stuff to make these devices enjoyable for the guys that like me, that like to just tinker around. I feel my flashaholicism coming back. It's been a while since I've been able to have a phone with a custom recovery on it. I've been using a lot of different Samsung phones with Verizon and as we all know, it's just not happening with many devices these days. But the LG G3 is one of those devices that we can do that with. So again, thanks to the developers. Thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this.